Hey guys, it's Haley here, and today I just wanted to talk with y'all about how to read a semen analysis. I don't claim to be a doctor, an embryologist, or anything like that. Just someone going through infertility um, and reading a lot of these and learning that they can be hard to interpret. So there's five main parts to an analysis. One, volume. So the volume is how much is in the sample. That's pretty easy. Two, concentration. How many sperm were produced per milliliter? Three, motility. How many moving sperm are present? Four, total modal count. How many mo moving sperm are present in the entire sample given? The whole shebang. And five, morphology. That's about the shape. So are they normal shaped? Are they abnormally shaped? So those are the five main parts of a semen analysis. And I wanted to do this vlog because we got a little bit confused doing our most recent samples. So if you haven't caught on yet, or if we weren't clear enough in the last video, our infertility issues are male related. Um, so we're, but it's unexplained male related. So we're really not sure why we're having problems in that area, but we are, which is fine. We're just learning how to navigate through them. Our fertility doctor told us that we're gonna have to do three to five freezes. We did our first freeze, got the results from her office, um, except it was like a receptionist that called us. So I'm hoping she's the one that read them and not our doctor. Um, and they told us that we may have to up it to 10 freezes. That way, when they start me on my medication and the egg retrieval day comes, if we give a bad sample that day, we have freezes to fall back on and it wasn't just a total waste of time. So our doctor's office called us and told us that on the first freeze, we had nine sperm that are viable for IVF. And I was like, nine sperm? That's scary. That's not a lot because they go through a lot. They're frozen and then they're thought out to be to be made into an embryo with my egg. And we're gonna do frozen embryo transfer because we're getting genetic testing done. So then they're frozen again. They have a lot to survive and then they have to survive implantation. That's a lot of stress on sperm and egg and embryo. So nine is not a lot and not all of them survive the freeze. So that was kind of scary news to get. So we got our second sample and back and I wasn't really sure how to read it. So I called the embryologist and he broke it down for me and it's a lot easier than I thought. So I got confused the first time how to read it because we got that number nine from our doctor's office. Um, I don't think it was from our doctor. I think it was from somebody that works within the office. But looking at that number nine, I'm like, how'd you get nine out of this? Like, how'd you even calculate it? So. It's very scientific and mathematical, and unfortunately I wasn't a science or math major, so this is like another language to me, kind of. So in reading this, she told us we had nine, which we have more than nine. So it'll tell you your concentration times 10 to the sixth power slash milliliter. I just wanna know how many sperm there are, which the embryologist was great and told me that. So if you've got a number that's zero point something, it's 10 to the sixth power. So all you're gonna do is move that little decimal point over six times to the right. So for our first sample that we did, our total count was 0 0.009450 times 10 to the sixth power, which really means 9,450 sperm were in the total count better than nine, yay! Our total modal number was 0 0.0054. So move that little decimal over six times to the right and you get 5,400 sperm, our total modal, which means that's 5,400 that we could possibly use for IVF. So our second sample that we got back, our total count was 0 0.0126, which really move that decimal place decimal point six over to the right, that's 12,600 sperm that were there. That's a lot for us, that's like a great day. 
and our total modal count was 0.0039, which means we have 3,900 sperm that we can use for IVF, which is awesome considering that we thought we only had nine the first time. So that's awesome. So we have 3,954 that we could possibly use so far, which is super exciting. They say that 15 to 20 million is normal for concentration. So as you can tell, like 3,000, that's very low compared to 15 to 20 million, but it's still a lot for us and you can make a baby with that. It only takes one to make a baby. So that's exciting. But just to give you some perspective on where on the scale we are. So it's my birthday today. So getting that news that we don't have a nine sperm, we have 3,900 and 5,400 was like the best birthday news that I could have gotten today. Best birthday gift ever. And I'm 26 today, so ain't getting any younger. The point of this video is ask. If you were confused, if you don't know how to read something, you don't understand something, if something doesn't make sense, ask your doctor and ask again if it still doesn't make sense. This costs a lot of money and it's your family, so ask. Um, I think they might put my phone number on the block list for as many times as I call asking questions, but at least I'm getting informed and I have the information and I know what's going on with us. I hope this was helpful for y'all. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and we will continue taking you along our IVF journey. Bye guys.